adapted from the Old Testament, Genesis 38. Tamar, a young Canaanite woman, disguises herself as a temple prostitute to trick her father-in-law Judah into impregnating her. While this act initially appears morally questionable, the story ultimately portrays themes of redemption and forgiveness. By disguising herself as a prostitute, Tama takes advantage of Judah's vulnerability and takes advantage of him sexually. Tamar's deceptive act leads to her becoming pregnant with twins, one of whom is Perez, the ancestral father of King David and ultimately Jesus. However, it is important to note that Judah's actions and character also contributed to the deception. He constantly mistreated Tamar, his daughter-in-law. As Judah's daughter-in-law, Judah believes she has killed two of his sons and subjugates her so that she is unable to remarry. The primary lesson that can be drawn from the story of Tamar and Judah is the importance of honesty, fairness and integrity in our interactions with others. Tamar's deception is a warning against trickery and manipulation. As a patriarch and leader of the tribe of Judah, Judah was irresponsible and his mistreatment of Tamar, his daughter-in-law, exemplifies what happens when one neglects responsibilities. Upon discovering the truth, Judah is deeply ashamed of his actions and his initial refusal to acknowledge his sin leads to further consequences. Tamar's pregnancy poses a threat to his standing in the community as the patriarch. Judah was later remorseful. He was deeply ashamed of his actions and acknowledged his responsibility. He confessed his wrongdoing and expressed a desire to rectify the situation. Unconfessed sin can affect our lives and relationships. It can lead to guilt, shame and a sense of separation from God. By acknowledging and confessing our wrongdoings, we can experience God's forgiveness and grace, restoring our relationship with Him and others. Finally, the story offers a message of hope and redemption. Even in the midst of our own mistakes, there is always an opportunity for reconciliation. By seeking forgiveness and taking responsibility for our actions, we can experience healing and restoration in our lives and relationships.